Hello. Hey, uh, I just had a bizarre interview with this company. Uh, I just want to, to uh, I'm going to do a review. If you're looking to, to do a driving job for this company, I advise you know to consider it. And my reason is going to be outlined in, in this video. And first of all, look at the description of this job. It, it is a normal uh, driving job. As you can see, the pay is not too bad. It's $27 an hour. And you know, everything you, you see on, on this description is normal driving and picking up cars and making sure maintaining uh, the truck equipment that you're using. But when I when I went there uh, on on the job interview, once I walk in, first of all, uh, I was interviewed over the phone by a guy, and then he sent me uh, to that place uh, to go to the job interview on site, uh, and uh, somebody called me. He have somebody call me and schedule for the interview there, so I was come told to come down to the to the warehouse, uh, to the job site uh, for the interview. So when I come there, when I open the door, there is literally like a flood of females. There's almost ten or twelve uh, female working at the front desk, which is. Uh, and just take it for what it is, and then uh, I was ushered into a cafeteria, like a conference room. Three older women walk in, and uh, when they start uh, asking me a question, what I was doing before, and then I, after I explained to them my experience, uh, the woman uh, says that most of this job. Uh, it requires is actually consists of cleaning cars, detailing cars, and you're gonna be out, out outside on the yard, and and uh, most of uh, the time is gonna be spent outside cleaning cars. And I'm looking on my I'm looking at the job descriptions, which did not mention anything about cleaning cleaning cars and uh, detailing cars being on outside in the yard uh, uh, all the time. Well, the second woman I also men mentioned that uh, she asked me uh, why I'm interested in this job and I say uh, I'm doing uh, over the road driving trucks uh, before and I'm this, this job being local and only go out, out of the state occasionally and uh, that's one of my one of the things that draw me to apply for this job. And then she immediately said, you know, this job requires you to uh, stay outside, uh, out of the state for three months. Uh, and if sometimes, if we need it, are you willing to do this? Uh, so I was drawing back, like, what are you talking about <laughs> staying out for three months? And then, uh, and then she said, this is actually another one. Say this job actually uh, the job requires you to be uh, do whatever the management asks you to do, which in this job it doesn't require driving or towing cars. Majority of the job, uh, this job requires you to to work on the yard, and this, and then. Uh, I immediately, right there and then say, you know, this is job is not for me, I'm not interested uh, in my mind. But I told them uh, I appreciate for having me here. And then I was, uh, I concluded and, and leave uh, the company. And then I interacted with the, with the workers, uh, some of the drivers outside. And the drivers mentioned to me that they, all of them, I meet with a couple, uh, down at the gas station, uh, next, there is a gas station near the warehouse, near the, this uh, location. All of them mentioned that they planning to leave the company, that they complain that uh, they are doing hard labor, that have nothing to do with the actual driving or towing cars. The towing cars already hard enough, 
they want you to do cleaning jobs, detailing cars, uh, moving junks, junk cars, uh, and parts uh, around the yard, being out in the, in the temperature and in all kind of temperature. Not uh, not uh, uh, forget to mention also that people are uh, very rude. Uh, the those women anyway, they seem to be. Very, uh, I don't know if they're aware <laughs> aware of themselves, but they seem they come across as rude, condescending. It's like they're looking for uh, spare tires, you know. Uh, they really advertise in this job as a driving job. In reality, I think they just want to lure people in, lure drivers in, uh, under false, under false description of a job, and then. <laughs> Uh, they ha- have you work as uh, spare tires uh, doing whatever uh, they don't want to do and I, I don't recommend you do that I mean truck drivers are normally do this job because they want they like freedom uh, you know they like to be able to uh, not be uh, they like to be able to be treated fairly and get paid for what they do they're not looking for hard labor work a lot of time and <laughs> they're not looking for junk junk work or cleaning jobs i mean if they you know that's that's why they have a drive a cdl to get to get a decent paying job that don't require uh this kind of attitude environment uh, i don't recommend you work in this company and also i looked at the review on this company on google and also on indeed indeed.com if you look at the section of the previous employees or the current employee review it will tell it will say exactly what I just come across a horrible uh, treatment of employees and the jobs uh, is just whatever the the company want you to to do it have nothing to do with what was actually advertised on on the on the on the site uh, so this is my review. Take it for what it is, but I do not recommend you working uh, for this company at all.